So welcome back, Level 2 Physicists, continuing on with uh, our Level 2 Mechanics. Uh, external extending on from work. Okay, so remember work is the force being applied in the same direction as the displacement or distance. And they're going to look at torque. So torque is where the force is now being applied at right angles or perpendicular to the distance from a particular pivot point. So think wrenches in this particular case. Okay, and that means the object therefore rotates due to the application of this perpendicular force. So torque is very similar to the equation for uh, work, uh, but in this case it's going to be force times the perpendicular distance. Okay, so torque is that funky uh, symbol there. Tau, okay, directly the tau, and it'll have the same units as work, uh, newton meters, because it's going to be newtons and force times the distance meters. So in terms of the things that are necessary for torque to occur, there must be a force perpendicular to a pivot point or fulcrum, also known as. The force uh, can be either applied counterclockwise, so going this way if you're talking about a, uh, a wrench, or counterclockwise, okay, or anticlockwise. And there must be a perpendicular placement to that pivot point. So for equilibrium, uh, which is important to solving uh, torque questions, there are two things that have to be met. So the sum of the torques has to equal zero, so that means that all the clockwise torques in the system have to equal uh, the sum of all the anti-clockwise torques, and also in terms of force, uh, some of the forces acting on the objects are going to be equal to zero, so the sum of the upward forces equals the sum of the downward forces, and also the sum of the left acting forces has to equal the sum of the right acting forces. So the diagram here illustrates that point. So if you do the calculations, the um, anti-clockwise torques equal the clockwise torques, okay, about 450 newtons each. Um, and the forces going up equal the forces going down. Now the reason why it doesn't look like on the diagram is because we haven't incorporated the support forces uh, of the girl and the boy and the um, seesaw. But remember, Newton's third law has to be equal and opposite. So there has to be, for example, for the boy, a support force uh, going up of 400 Newtons. And also for the girl, a support force of 300 Newtons going up. And for the fulcrum um, plank, uh, a force going up, support force of 200 Newtons. So that, that's still met. And the same applies for the left and the right sided forces because the support forces haven't been included in the diagram. Just clarifying that. Okay, so uh, the most complicated problem to solve uh, in level two mechanics um, is the problem with double pivots. Okay, so basically it's usually a bridge problem with some sort of mass on the bridge and you've got to work out the forces uh, generated. Okay, so basically what you have to do is you, first thing you have to do is you choose a pivot point. Okay, I've chosen, chosen point P on our diagram here and you have to then draw the associated torques from that. So from that, that would be uh, the mass times the distance and also uh, the center of mass, O, and the mass of the bridge, because you'll be given that in the, the problem as well. Okay, so remember to use the center of mass. Uh, and then you've got to calculate the forces associated with it. So from level one, force equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 meters per second per second. Okay, so then you've got force, and that means that you can now calculate uh, the clockwise torques acting on point P. Okay, just add them all up. And we know for equilibrium to occur, that the sum of the clockwise torques have to equal the sum of the anti-clockwise torques. So therefore you can substitute and solve to find an, the unknown, okay, in terms of maybe a mass or a distance. And then we also know that the sum of the forces has to equal um, zero, uh, which is our second condition for equilibrium. So then you can again substitute force uh, the values in and solve for the unknowns as well. Okay, so that's how you would deal with a double pivot uh, question, usually involving bridges in level two mechanics.